Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have 8 to the power of x minus square root of 2 equal to 2 to the power of x. Now the first step I will take is to bring the x together. So I have 8 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x and this will be equal to square root of 2. Now the next thing is for me to break this 8 down to have 2 to the power of 3 and then multiply by x, I'll have 3x minus 2 to the power of x. Uh, this will be equal to square root of 2. Now, if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, this can be written as a to the power of n to the power of m. So the one that comes first does not matter because you're multiplying them. Now, because of this, I'm going to work on this first term. So I will have 2 to the power of x, and then I will take 3 outside. Minus 2 to the power of x, and this is equal to square root of 2. But why did I even separate these two? Because I needed to have 2 to the power of x in two places. So now, let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. Meaning that any way I find 2 to the power of x, I'm going to write y. So here now, I will write y to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of x becomes y. And this is equal to square root of 2. The next thing on my mind is how to eliminate the square roots from there. And I will do that by squaring both sides. Square this, and then I will square this. Now, the square and the square root will cancel each other. So, I have this, which is the same thing as y to the power of 3 minus y. And then I'll have it in two places, y to the power of 3 minus y. Okay, so this will be equal to 2 over there. Now, let's open this bracket y to the power of 3 times y to the power of 3 will give us y to the power of 6. Remember, you are to add the powers. Then, y to the power of 3 times this will give me negative y to the power of 4. I'm coming back to pick this. y to the power, okay, negative y times y to the power of 3 will give me negative y to the power of 4. Then, Minus y times minus y will give me plus y to the power of 2. And this is equal to 2. Now take a step further. So I have y to the power of 6 minus y to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 4 will give us minus 2y to the power of 4. Then plus y squared equal to 2. And now, I want to bring everything to the left, so I have y to the power of 6 minus 2y to the power of 4 plus y squared minus 2 equals 0, right? Now, what will I do again? I'm going to group it into 2 and factorize. We have y to the power 6 and y to the power 4. That means y to the power of 4 is common to them. Then open this bracket. Here I'll have y to the power of 2 minus the whole of y to the power of 4 is out. So 2 will be left over there. Then I'll close this. Nothing is common to this. So I'll pick the coefficient of y squared, which is plus 1. Then in here I'll have y squared minus 2. And this is equal to 0. And then what do I do? If you observe this very well, you will see that you can have, um, you're having y to the power of 2 minus 2 in two places. Therefore, let's factor out y squared minus 2. y squared minus 2 is factored out. And then, I will have y to the power of 4 here. y to the power of 4. Then, plus here now, it's only 1 that will be here. Close this bracket. And this is equal to 0. And then we apply 0 product rule. 
that says either of them is equal to zero okay or both of them are equal to zero y squared minus 2 is equal to 0 or y to the power of 4 plus 1 equals 0. From here, y squared will be equal to 2 or on this side, y to the power of 4 will be equal to negative 1. Then if you take a step further, okay, as a matter of fact, here we are having positive value and here we're having negative and because we have positive and negative the whole of this will be rejected because it will lead us to you know um, complex number okay so we'll stop it at this level we work with this and then from here remember when I said y is equal to 2 to the power of x and that means in place of y squared now I'm going to write, in place of y alone, I'll write 2 to the power of x. This is for y. And then the square on y comes out. This is equal to 2. Okay, so from here, I am to open this bracket. So I have 2 to the power of 2x equal to 2. And these 2 can have power of 1. Now we have the same base. We can work with the powers. So that um, 2x will be equal to 1. And to get the value of x, we divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. And then from here, 2 will cancel 2 and then x will be equal to 1 over 2. So this is the value of x that will satisfy the given equation. But we can check to know if we are right or wrong. The original equation is 8 to the power of x equal to, okay, 8 to the power of x minus square root of 2 equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, let's put in the value of x. So we have, um, we're going to have 8 to the power of 1 over 2 minus square root of 2 equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 2. And do not forget that any number to the power of 1 over 2 is the square root of that number. So I have square root of 8 minus square root of 2 equal to square root of 2. Now, how do I make this equal? Um, 8 here can be written as 4 times 2, right? Then minus square root of 2 equal to 2 okay we are trying to check if it's actually going to be equal to 2 right now if we take a step further square root of 4 here is 2 then multiply it by root 2 then i have minus root 2 which will give me root 2 now 2 root 2 minus 1 root 2 will give me 1 root 2 which is written like this and this is equal to on the right hand side we are having root 2 meaning that we are very correct to say x is equal to 1 over 2. Thank you very much for watching.